Before we can move on to some of the other ways that your shell can be customised, we need to have at least a basic understanding of what an environment variable is. That's because many of the configuration options that you will be specifying later on in this module are in fact environment variables, so let's have a look at them. A shell environment variable is, well, it's a difficult thing to describe, but for the purposes of this discussion, it's a shell setting that can be viewed and adjusted at any time. It's an individual setting. It's a very small individual piece of information, like an individual word or an individual number. If you're a programmer, you probably have some idea of what a variable is. If you're not, it doesn't really matter. We'll find out right now. Each variable is of the form name equals value. What that means is that each variable has a particular name and each variable also has a particular value. I like to think of variables as little boxes. The box has a label on the outside of the box. That is the box's name, or in this case it's the variable's name. And then you can put things into that box. And what you put into that box is the value of the variable. And by using the equal sign, you're essentially saying that value goes into that box. In fact, that's actually the way that we go about creating or assigning shell variables. You do it on the shell command line, and you do it as follows. You simply type in the name of the variable, followed by an equal sign, followed by the value that you want the variable to have. Now, what does that look like? Well, you could type in the following, exactly verbatim. You could type in ps1 equals hello and that would set the value of hello into the variable called ps1. So if you like, there's a box, and it's the box is called ps1, and inside the box is the value hello. Now what that means is that subsequently, later on, various programs, including the shell, will examine that box and go, hmm, I wonder if there is a box called ps1. Oh, there is a box called ps1. I wonder what's in it. Oh, something called hello is in it. Right, well, that's the value that I'm going to use for my particular configuration setting. That's how it typically works. If you want a different configuration setting, then you set PS1 to have a different value. If you have an existing environment variable that you need to modify, you do it exactly the same way. You just simply type in the name of the variable, and then you give it another value using the equal sign. If you have set an environment variable, or even if you haven't, and you want to find out the value of a given environment variable, you do it by typing the following. You type in the word echo, followed by a space, followed by a dollar sign, followed by the variable name. For example, that might be PS1. If you wanted to see the contents of the variable called PS1, then you'd say echo, space, dollar, PS1. Let's see what that might look like. So if I want to find out the value of the variable ps1, I type in echo dollar ps1, and I'm doing p and s in capital simply because that's what this variable happens to be called, and I find that it's backslash u at backslash h colon backslash w backslash dollar sign. Now, I may or may not have any idea of what that means, but that is the value that is set into the variable called ps1. I'll give you another example we have a variable called path, which contains the following. We'll be looking at path a little bit later on, and you'll fully understand what it is. We'll also be looking at PS1, so we'll have an idea of what both of those are. Now, what about a variable called, um, let's, call, let's look at one called name. Hmm. We get a blank line, which means that either there is no such variable called name in AME, or there is one, and it contains just blanks. If I wanted to set one, I could say name equals mark, like that, and then I, after that, whenever I do echo dollar name, I get mark. So that will then show you how to set and examine environment variables. What else can we know about environment variables? Well, there's a program called set, which is used to show all the environment variables that have currently been set. Let's have a look. I type in set, press enter. Hmm, gosh, that went past very quickly. Let's try it again and pipe the results to more. 
Okay, and there's so there's quite a few of them as you can see. They're being displayed in alphabetical order, and so on, and so on, and so on. So about three pages of them. Now I wouldn't expect you to have the slightest idea what most of those do. I'm going to show you a few of them, but certainly won't be showing you the majority. Some of them are quite obvious, like there's one there called USER equals M virtue. There's a little environment variable that contains my current username. There's also one just above it called UID, which contains my user ID. That doesn't mean that I can then go and change my username or change my user ID by modifying those shell environment variables. What it does mean is that someone somewhere, probably my shell program itself, is making those two parameters, if you like, available to any other program that might be interested. Notice that name equals mark is in there as well. That's the one that I just set. Shell variable names cannot contain spaces. So in other words, the PS1 bit cannot contain any spaces. However, the values can contain spaces. But if you wish for your shell variable values to contain spaces, you have to do it in a very special way. You have to enclose the value in double quotes, like as like you can see, PS1 equals hello there. So let's have a look at how that looks. We already know that um, name is set to mark, but what if I wanted to set name to, sorry, let's try that again, name equals mark virtue. Let's do it like that. And I get an error message, virtue command not found. What I have to do instead is name equals and then put it inside double quotes like that. And now that works and I echo dollar name and I find that it's mark virtue. Now I said that there's absolutely no possible way that the environment variables name, the actual NAME part that you can see above here, can contain spaces. So I can't say my name equals mark. I can't do that. Nor can I do the following, my name equals mark. That doesn't work either. It is simply not possible to have a space on the left-hand side of the equal sign.